guys okay so it is the next day um i know that last video ended just like boom at target um i was tired we left target we had went to um where did we go we went to petco and we went to five below and by the time i got home i was done like i was pooped i was exhausted um so today is going to be part two of can we find our perfect tree our perfect christmas tree okay so in yesterday's video i talked about the christmas decorations that i had purchased from big lots when i was looking at the um rose gold ornaments at kmart and so I wanted a uh, second before I get busy and start running the streets again. I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I had found at Big Lots, which caused me to um, change my Christmas color again, even though I said that I wasn't going to do it. So the first thing that I had found that was my inspirational rose gold piece was this wreath. So here, let me set that right there. So I seen this wreath, um, rose gold all the way around, and um, it was marked at $30, but on the um, day that I had went into Big Lots, which was last week sometime, um, well before Thanksgiving, they were having a sale, and so the items were um, discounted. I don't remember what the discount was, and I would have to find the receipt to tell you, um, but I did buy this maybe over a week ago. So, um, I don't remember what the discount was, but I did not pay $30 for this wreath. It was on sale. And um, I'm not exactly sure. I hope you guys can get the full detail. I hope you're not just seeing gold. I hope you guys are getting the full rose gold effect of this wreath. Super beautiful. So, I seen this. My little light bulb, my little pink light bulb in my head went ding. And then I was like, I'm changing my Christmas color. I'm doing rose gold this year. Even though I had told myself before holiday season got ready to roll through, I said, I am not changing my Christmas color. I'm going to have to work it out with all the stuff I have in the garage. I need to make it happen. But um, like I said in the last video, hopefully this year, hopefully this rose gold will completely satisfy me. And I will be able to stick with my rose gold for a couple of years at least. I hope and then along with the wreath I found um, this here deal and um, can you really see it it's on a little hook I guess you could hang them up if you want to I use them for the mantle um, is what I use them for let me see if this has a name on this tag of what this thing is called it's called a floral teardrop is what it says on the tag these are uh, priced at $18 it was also discounted because it was um, of the enchantment line or winter wonderland enchantment line and so that whole line was discounted on that particular day so this was also discounted so I got two of those so that um, for the mantle okay let me set that to the side so these were my inspirational pieces and um, I got a bow, it's rose gold, a bow tree topper. If you remember, I also said in the last video that when I purchased the, um, that crown topper, that that made the third topper that I had purchased within the last week. Because I purchased this one the day before Thanksgiving when I purchased that uh, six foot tree, which was really a five foot tree. Um, I had also, I purchased this. This was $8. And it was discounted and then I bought this one a rose gold a bling blingy star um, the bling blings are on both sides priced at 15 but it was discounted I, I also didn't pay full price for this either really pretty so I'm not sure exactly which topper I'm gonna go with Whichever one's the cutest and the other two are going to go back. Then looking around, I've seen this tree skirt. So I, per I picked up this tree skirt. Um, yeah, it looks extremely light. It is light though. This is not rose gold. This is not rose gold. Got the tree skirt and um, new stockings. I, didn't need, I, got, I, got, I do have gold stockings in the garage. 
but um, they are darker gold. I think we've had them for probably like six years. There's nothing wrong with an upgrade. I was at Big Lots and um, some genius that decided to take all of the stockings and rip the little tassel little thingies off of every single stocking there. I had to go to another um, Big Lots to find the stockings to match the tree skirt that had the tassels but they only had three they didn't have four so i figured i can get three and it could be for the three my three children i i really don't need one i would it's weird because i've never done that before I've, al I've always had a stocking for every person in the house but whatever if i don't find another one i won't cry about it and so um bring it into my rose gold thing look at these owls I thought they were just the cutest little thing. It has rose gold, it has gold, it has white. And then uh, around the eyes, it has some uh, cream color to make the, the eyes really pop. And I just thought, these are too cute. They were priced at um, six bucks. And I think it was an accident. I'm not sure how it happened. I wound up buying five boxes of these. <laughs> but I am not keeping all five boxes. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I know for a fact I'm not. These were not. Whatever. There's five of them. There's another sitting right here. These were not discounted. See what I thought. And I, I wound up. I don't know how it happened. I bought them on separate days and I guess I forgot what I had already purchased and then I went and I purchased more and I wound up with five. Not keeping all five. Um, at Big Lots I also found some little ice skates. It's like boots with the fur. Wait, what she had on? She had, oh, the apple, apple bottom jeans. Yeah, so I found the ice skates. I got the bling bling boots with the fur. Um, and I bought that's not for cotton. Well, so what? But I mean, so they they y'all understand what I my daughter's in the background going, Mom, that's not fur, that's cotton. But you guys understand it was a joke. So um these were the rose gold items that I purchased from Big Lots. So when I had um I showed that. So when I found the rose gold stuff at Kmart um it just was the perfect addition to what i had already found um like i said some of these owls will be going back the um the crown topper i think is extremely beautiful is dope and um in my living room in my living room decor already there are several crowns in in the decor already in the living room so I thought that was, you know, flew right into the theme that I already got going on in there. So um, I could dig it. You know, baby girl did good in finding that. That was a good find. So once we get our tree, um, pick our tree up and get that together. I hope it's extremely cute. But if it's not, I have two other backups. It's going to come together. I have faith and I do believe that we are going to find and put together a perfect Christmas tree. So we'll see you guys in a bit when we start hitting our stores today. I had to come back. I had to come back, you guys, because I forgot this really, really cute piece because it's already sitting on the dining room table. But um, I also purchased this. Look at the little bling bling on the back of it, you guys. And look at the little neck. It got fur. It's not cotton. It's fur. And a uh, girlfriend, because I'm going to call her a girl because the way her head is hell high, you could tell it's a female girlfriend is fly she is blinging she's sparkling she got her fur around her neck she own right and she um goes with the rest of the, the living room decor um i don't remember how much she costs i would have to look at my receipt but um it was 11 dollars. Mm -hmm. no it wasn't 11 it was more than that 12. It was um, 11, 12. I think it's plastic yeah but um yeah I couldn't leave her out because she was just too cute I only bought one which is uh, surprising for me because I have a problem and I usually buy two of everything I have a problem only buying one thing 
um but i only purchased one um she gonna fly solo because she's so fly she can she can do that she can get away with that um so i wanted to show you guys this so i, I had to turn the camera back on and also last night i think i tried to um i tried to show you my kmart purchase and the card hat was full so i didn't get a chance to show you what i had checked out with so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna grab that stuff real quick and i'm gonna show you that or baby girl gonna help me out so um <clears throat> i did a uh, two pack of these bulbs they're uh gold and rose gold and a little silver but uh we bling it in there so we got it here silver bulbs gold and rose gold got two of those and then I definitely, definitely had got that uh, that 50 ornament assortment and I purchased two of those. And I know you might think like, Shawnee, like 50 ornaments, so times two, 100 ornaments. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. And like I'm just, my tree about to turn into a hot mess. But I think the number is so high because of um, these and it's in two different places uh, here. Um, so I think that kind of, um, boosted up the number of ornaments and I'm probably not going to use those at all. Um, so I did, I got two of these and we got that, um, the crown tree topper. We did pick that up. I picked up, um, they only had three of the rose gold butterflies left. They did have white and gold, but I didn't pick up the white and gold ones. I just went with the rose gold ones. So they had three, so I bought the last three that they had. And then I picked up a few of these, the little ombre, gold and white ombre hearts. Um, with some little pearls. I just thought that that was classy. I thought that the little pearl on it gave it a little, uh, more elegant feel. Um. So although my tree is going to be um, extremely feminine, and then I bought a pack of uh, ornament hangers, some little bling 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 ornament hangers. Although it's going to be extremely feminine and girly because that's just the kind of woman that I am, um, I'm hoping that the tree will look extremely elegant. When you do that, mommy, you make the camera shake. Um, I'm, ho I'm, a, I'm My goal is that it will look extremely elegant and classy um not childish um that's just not what i do i don't even know why i said that because i know that's not gonna happen i've been doing this for a long time <laughs> and i know what i'm doing all right we just got the big box we got the tree in the basket get that return get my money back for this little baby tree Hey guys, so I just left um, Big Lots. We just got into the parking lot at Kmart. And um, I still got my Christmas tree in the trunk because I'm having a problem refunding it for um, the purchase price. They want to give it to me at a, they want to return it at a discounted price for some foolery because they don't know how to do math because I use a coupon when I purchased it. But I don't know. Maybe the manager just did not do well in math in school or something. I don't know. And so they weren't returning it at the price that I purchased it. So I have to bring it back tomorrow for why I don't know. Stupid. To return everything and then rebuy, repurchase the stuff over with a coupon. It makes no sense and it was a little bit frustrating. So, anyways, where I came out, we're going to go in. Um, and get the, the tree that I showed you guys yesterday. The, um, the seven foot tall um, flock tree for the $100. So yesterday I told you guys I was going to order it. I did. I ordered it online. Got a text message about an hour ago and said that it was ready. So we're going to run in here and go grab that tree. So the day will get better. You know how the tree from okay. Big Lots. We couldn't take it back. So it's still in the trunk. And this is like way much bigger. And we're going to see if. Hopefully, it fits. Yeah. If I have to leave the. Um, Keep bumping. Was that person old? <laughs> yes. What? 
<laughs> that was an old lady playing that music. She wasn't that old like that. She had her hair. She could have been my age. No. Peas, mama. Oh yeah. Trying to not get the license plates. Okay, so this is this one. And this is this one. I think they're gonna be the same size. <laughs> um, I think. I'm going to see. I'm going to that. And dang it. Let's see if I turn it to the side if it makes a difference. Probably not, but no, I think I made it taller, huh? I feel like if you put that one in the front seat and just reclined it back, Gianni can sit in the middle and then that can be in the front seat. And then what about this? Still not gonna make that? Moving yeah. Gonna make this? Because if you move this to the side. To the side. Let's see what they're talking about. See, I got it. You got it, huh? What you got, baby? <laughs> Here, let me focus. Somebody help me out. Tell me what she got. Maybe this one has to go in the front seat. I brought bungee cords. We could just take it straight to the house. I could just use bungee cords to tie, keep the trunk down, and How do you keep the trunk down? that's what these like. Um, that's what I think these that is. I hope that's what these little hooky things no, is for. The trunk, like, what do you mean? I feel like there's no hook. Um, you hook it onto. Um, what you hook the damn thing onto? I don't know. <laughs> Um, let's try and put this one in the, yeah, let's try to put this one in the, look at you guys, isn't it so cute, you're looking at it upside down, it's exactly what I wanted, the spoiled girl gets what she wants, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just being silly, Um, open the front, open the front seat. The, uh, you know what I meant. Open the door, the front door. Lean the seat all the way. My arms are gonna fall off. Well, you don't have to hold it, Mom. Mm-mm, somebody, somebody kid need a whooping. Y'all hear that? Somebody kid having a tantrum? He need a whooping. What? He do, he need a whooping. A gotti. That was as far as the seat? Oh. down here. Wait, I'm just trying to put this part up here so that it's straight up and down. There you go. Push the bottom of that in. Straight in. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm smart. You're extremely intelligent. Ah. And then we'll toss this one back in. And then I need some Starbucks and then we gotta make the house run. Ooh, Starbucks. Come down. Oh. 